Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yonsa's Universe. It is me, Yonsa. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be the all signs reading your person's current feelings, okay? Their current feelings and what you can expect. You guys, so I know, I let y'all know, I go live every Friday around seven. I'm not sure how I'm feeling, that's why I'm doing this reading for y'all. So y'all don't, don't be, you know, saying nothing, okay? Remember these readings are general, flip flop the rose, reverse them. Only take what resonates, leave the rest for a different sign. Holy Spirit, holy angels, keep me safe, protect me as I go within the tarot, close our doors, smell negativity, sneaks in. Keep me safe, keep the messages safe, and return to sender any and all negativity, and know what the next form begins and shall prosper. Please give me clear on these messages. Ancestors, please orchestrate this reading. I say. All right, we're going to start from Aries to Pisces, y'all. Okay, Aries to Pisces. Please check out all your other readings. Um, you can follow me on my social media. You can book a personal reading with me. You can donate to the channel via Cash App or PayPal. If I do go live tonight, and I'm pretty sure I will, it's going to be a quick reading. It's just going to be, it'll probably be another all signs, and you can ask me questions as well. Okay. Um. One question will be $5, okay? So, one question will be $5, two questions will be $10, and on and on. For every one question, it's $5. Okay. Let's get it started. Okay, you guys. I'm just shuffling. And we gonna jump into it. All the way from Aries to Pisces, please. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Mm, this deck, I don't know if I'm going to use this one. It don't want to work. I, I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, you guys. We're going to see. Aries, what's going on currently? What's this person's current feelings for Aries? Aries, this could be the person on your mind or who you have. The person on your mind or who has you on their mind. There we go. What's this person's current feelings for Aries? Aries. This could be the one. They feel like you could be the one. Okay, they feel like you're the one that they want. They feel like they've already met the romantic partner they seek and they feel like it's you. Maybe they might want to make things right with you. This could be how you feel about them too, Aries. What's this person's current feelings towards Aries? Retreat. They feel like you guys may be separated at this time. Retreat. You could have retreated from them. They could have retreated from you. They feel like this could be the one. So I feel like this is a friend. Trust. You may not have trusted them in the past. Maybe they didn't trust you. Okay. What's this person's current feelings towards Aries? Time to disconnect from the world. Maybe they want to um, just get you alone. Hey, Aries, I need to talk. I've been meaning to talk to you for a long time. I've been meaning to tell you this. Two of Swords. Could be a Libra. They've been crying over this. Wishing that they would have said what they needed to say. Did what they needed to do. Clarify the Two of Swords. For this person's current feelings. They feel like you're closed off from them. They feel like you don't want to talk to them. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Reverse. They're trying to find out ways on how to get you to talk to them. We got the Page of Wands. And the Seven of Swords with the queen of wands i feel like this person i feel like this person lied to you about their sexuality just to be honest clarify what this person's current feelings towards aries or they feel like you're lying about your sexuality you reverse they're stuck on you but they feel like you're a liar five of cups or some i don't know they're, they're stuck on this. They, they're going to continue to be stuck on this till they get the truth. They want the truth from you. Ace of Swords. So be expecting communication from them. All right? What's the current energy between Aries and that person? Six of 
soulmate. So they feel like you are their soulmate. You may feel like they're your soulmate. All right. Moving on, Taurus. What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? Taurus, remember these are general and remember this could be whoever you have on your mind, whoever has you on their mind or anyone in you guys' energy, okay? What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? Trust. They want you to trust them. You could be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your chart. Could have met them during Aries season. This person could be very stubborn. What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? They want you to trust them. They want to trust you. They want to trust the situation. They're trying to have faith. Love yourself first. Okay. They they are learning how to love themselves first. So they're putting themselves first. So maybe they see you doing this. Um, you're putting yourself first. They're trusting that, you know what, Taurus must just be putting themselves first. And I like that about Taurus. Chemistry. They trust you. They, that, this is what makes them even more attracted towards you. Because you love yourself. Maybe this is what makes you more attracted towards them. Taurus, because they love themselves. They put themselves first. They take care of themselves. And there's a lot of chemistry between you two. You can be talking to another Taurus. Both of you can have Taurus in your chart somewhere. What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? What's this person's current feelings towards Taurus? The chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer. They like you. There's a lot of chemistry towards you, too. They want to move forward with you. I, I hear they want to go to second base and third base, but not in the bad way. It's like this person sees themselves like on like the whole journey with you getting to know each other going out on dates then whining and dining you getting to know each other meeting the family having sex for the first time you know being boyfriend and girlfriend moving in together getting married like the whole storyline they see that with you this is where they're headed this is what they're trying to do what's this person's current feelings towards taurus We got the hangman, okay? They're trying to get out of, they want to move forward. They want to move anything that may be stopping them from moving forward, okay? We have the two of cups right here at the bottom of the deck with the knight of cups too. You could be dealing with a cancer Pisces or Scorpio. We have cancer and Pisces already out. This person likes you a lot. They have a lot of emotions for you. And I feel like they don't want anything stopping you guys from being together. Yeah, King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be a little older than you. You could be a little older than them, but they're very stable. What's the current energy between Taurus and their person? What's the current energy between Taurus and their person? Thinker. One or both of you could overthink. You could overthink or your person overthinks. And they don't want to overthink this because they know they have a lot of feelings for you. 44 breaks down to an 8. Infinity. Like, this person has been just thinking a lot. Thinking about maybe giving you a gift, exchanging gifts. All right, moving on. Gemini. Gemini, please. What's this person's current feelings towards Gemini? What's this person's current feelings towards Gemini? <sighs> unrequited love. Yeah, I saw the five of wands. I saw release your ex and then we have unrequited love. It's just not enough attraction to keep you two together. It looks like you got into a big argument. A really big argument. Some of you could be Taurus, Gemini, Cusp. What's this person's current feelings towards Gemini? 
There's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. This person did something that turned you off completely. Romantic feelings. So maybe this person... How do you have romantic feelings but then unrequited love? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. But there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. So which one is it, Gemini? Maybe you don't have feelings for one person, but they have feelings for you. Maybe... You broke up with and you broke up with someone and you're moving forward to a new person wherever you are okay what's this person's current feelings towards gemini maybe they feel like you don't like them back they feel like if they don't like you because i have unrequited love so what i'm seeing is this person could be i'm feeling this i'm feeling that this person could be playing a game they think that if they act like they don't like you unrequited love it's going to make you like them more. Romantic feelings. I think it might be working too. This might be what you're doing to them. What's this person's current feelings towards Gemini? <laughs> yeah. Like I said. Through Wands, Ace of Cups. They, they feel like if they make you wait. If they... um act distant act like they're not interested you're gonna like that's gonna what that's gonna be what makes you come towards them but i'm seeing you said if this person makes me wait any longer i'm gonna look for new love so i think these games might backfire yeah look the devil at the bottom they're playing these games to get your attention six of wands could be dealing with the capricorn this person could feel like you're playing games with them gemini Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to end up heartbroken if they keep playing these games. Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands. Somebody will get blocked. What's the current energy between Gemini and their person? Not for you. Not for you. I, like, I can't even make this up. Like, this is as real as it's going to get. It's not for you, Gemini. This may be how they feel. And then we have the number six. Time, like, movement forward. Okay. All right. Cancer. What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? Religious factors. They feel like you guys are on the same journey. You guys were meant to find each other, meant to cross paths. Okay, your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. They feel like you guys were destined to meet. What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? Playfulness. Okay, they like you. They think they they think you're very fun. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they feel like they get a second chance at love with you. They're recapturing romance. Maybe they went through some failed relationships and they feel like with you, it's just so much easier. They feel like you're the answer to their prayers. What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? Ten of Swords. Wow. They feel hurt, backstabbed, and betrayed. They feel like you played them? They feel like you played them. You played... Somebody feels like you played their beliefs, their their values, their morals. Clarify the Ten of... Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if this is you who played them or they've been played in the past. Hmm. Clarify the Ten of Swords for this person's current feelings towards cancer. Page of Swords. They're mad at you. They're mad at a bitch. 
Okay, they can't stop watching you. They want to reconcile with you. They're like, this was supposed to be my wife. This was supposed to be my husband. This was supposed to be my family. This was supposed to be my blessing. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So either the family got in the way, or the people got in the way, work, job, friends got in the way, got in the mix of this. Somebody's mad because they want to see their kids. Okay. What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? Three of Cups. They do want to reconcile. Nine of Wands, but they're afraid of you. What is this? I'm getting a weird message from here. Hmm. I'm getting a weird message. So some of you cancers, and I'm talking to the cancer women, some of you cancer women may have been in a domestic violence relationship. And I feel I feel like whoever this person is, who is a like um being the vic how do I say that? The abuser has these weird feel like the abuser is like Oh, I don't know how to say this. I usually don't give these type of messages. But um, y'all be careful and y'all be safe. Because this person is going to be like, oh, the something about the kids. Something about the kids. I feel like this person. Okay, so this is, this is just tarot. This is just tarot. And y'all don't have to take nothing that don't resonate, y'all. Okay? So, I'm getting a download that. The abuser is has been trying to pick the kids up from school. Don't let them pick these kids up from school. Do not let them pick these kids up from school. Because they're trying to find any type of way to get to you. So, yeah, I have the nine of swords. Like, I see somebody, like, being held hostage or something like that. Like I'm getting a I'm getting a message of like it's time for you to pick your kids up from school or something and you don't you can't find your kids. The father of the children has the kids and didn't tell you. And they're not even supposed to be picking the kids up. Okay. That's... Can you give me another story for cancer? Give me another story for cancer. What's this person's current feelings towards cancer? Okay, a different person, different storyline. We got the two of cups. Here we go. Religious factors and playfulness. This is a soulmate. And they definitely love you. Clarify the two of cups. Clarify the two of cups. The moon. It could be another cancer. Or you're hiding your emotions or your feelings from someone. Okay. This keeps this keeps telling me about the same storyline, the first storyline. You can't tell your ex that you have a new man or a new boo. You can't tell them this is new love. You can't tell them you have a new boo. You have to keep it a secret. A secret relationship. You can't tell them because if if you do tell them look the devil card at the bottom of the deck again this person will flip out y'all be safe be careful like i don't know who i don't know who the devil card is whoever this person is it could be a taurus libra capricorn um aries leo sag i don't know who it is but y'all it could be an aquarius um be safe keep your kids safe tell your kids come straight home don't go nowhere like I don't care if that's your daddy. I don't care. Like, come straight home. All right. What's the current energy between cancer and this person? What's the current energy between cancer and the pers this person?
time to go. Y'all, it's getting real up in here. Time to go. It is time. It's time to go. 45 breaks down to a nine. It's about, it's the, it's coming to an end. It's over. It's time to go. All right, Leo. Leo, what's this person's current feelings towards Leo? Leo, this could be the person on your, on your mind or whoever has you on their mind. The person on your mind or whoever has you on their mind or anyone in you guys' energy, okay? What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? Damn. <clears throat> Retreat. Who is that? I think it was Taurus or an Aries who got this. It's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe this person feels like you disconnected from them. They disconnected from you. Maybe they want to disconnect from the world together. So maybe they just want to take some time out, just you and them, and just be laid up. Just talking and laughing and loving on each other. Loving on each other and cuddled up. Reconciliation came out. I know my cards is Jack, y'all. I know that. I know. Okay. <laughs> Reconciliation. Okay, so an old friend could be coming back into your life. Excuse me. An old co-worker. Somebody from the past. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be just anybody. Okay? Could be anybody. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So past life, someone you had a past life with and they're coming into your life for the first time now or just someone from the past. Could be a lover, could be a friend, could be anybody, anything. Okay? What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? They're heartbroken, Leo. What's this person's current feelings towards Leo? What's this person's current feelings towards my Leo? They're sad. They want another chance. They feel like you might not give them another chance. It's like they cry every time they think about, I wish I could have another chance with Leo. And then they just start sulking and crying and getting all sad. Like, I want another chance with Leo. God, please give me another chance with Leo. <sighs> right three of cups yep they definitely want to reconcile with the three of cups i feel like this person isn't going to show you how sad they are with the five of cups they're going to be all fun and flirty with the three of cups but it's a lie they're sad what's this person's current feelings towards leo they feel like you cut them off too i feel like they feel like you blew the whistle on their ass and you did so leo definitely blew the whistle It can be an Aries, Scorpio, or a Libra. We have the Emperor, Page of Wands, Justice, and the Tower. I feel like this person is going to come see you or talk to you or message you, call you, anything like that. Any type of way to get a message across, it's going to shock you. It's going to be out of the blue. All right? I feel like this person is going to try to show you that they've changed, that they've bossed up, that they're more mature now, and that they know how to be fair with you but with this page of wands i don't know if they're still if they're going to be a good communicator if they're going to be a good provider if they're going to be able to provide stability clarify the page of wands for this person's current feelings towards leo clarify the page of wands ten of pentacles Okay, this and the King of Pentacles right here. All right, all right. They might have potential. We'll see. Find out next time if this motherfucker falls through. I see you, Leo. Look, here you go, right here. Leo said, yeah, they better, they better. Look, they better come correct. <laughs> I want to see what this tower is. Clarify the tower. You don't expect it. Clarify the tower for Leo. Clarify the tower. 
Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower, please, for Leah. King of Cups. Damn. King of Cups. It could be two people. You could be getting your groove on with a water sign and then boom. This Aries or whoever the fuck want to come up in here. Like what? They've got a lot of love for you. I feel like this person is going to try to smother you with love. Okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What's the current energy between Leo and this person? What's the energy between Leo and their person? What's the energy between Leo and their person? What's the energy between Leo and their person, please? Round and round. Round and round. Are y'all going to end the cycle? Is this a cycle that y'all go through all the time? Round and round. So there's something calling your attention. Hey, are we going to do this over again? Are we going to finally end the cycle? Okay. Do y'all break up to make up? Look, we got Unfinished Symphony right here at the bottom. It did come out reverse, so hopefully you do you do um, end the cycle, okay? <sighs> can't believe y'all. Y'all the first sign to get some reconciliation. I can't believe y'all, Leo. Come on, Virgo. What y'all got for me? What's this person's current feelings towards Virgo? What's this person's current feelings towards Virgo? Virgo, remember this could be your current feelings or your person's current feelings or anyone in you or your person's energy. What's this person's current feelings towards my Virgo? Playfulness. You could be dealing with a Gemini or Cancer. Okay, feeling very flirty, very fun. Okay, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you want to have fun. You want to make this person laugh or they want to have fun. They want to make you laugh, Virgo. Okay, retreat. Everybody's trying to retreat. Where the fuck y'all going? Yeah, tell me. Where y'all going? Time to disconnect from the world. Maybe there's some things you and your person need to figure out and y'all are trying to disconnect together. Or you're just taking a break and you're disconnecting by yourself. I hear unplug. Unplug. Time to unplug. Okay. What's this person's current feelings towards my Virgo? Sorry for the noise, you guys. What's this person's current feelings towards my Virgo? You could be dealing with the Leo. <sighs> We got the Queen of Cups. They do have a lot of love for you, but y'all aren't talking right now with the Five of Pentacles. There's been a breakup. We got some of the same cards Leo has, the Emperor and the Page of Wands. So I see that this person, if they did disconnect, it was for, I feel like it was for the better. To be honest, we went from the Page to the Emperor, okay? And this Page is looking at the Emperor like, I need advice, I need counsel, I need to, like, I feel like they have a good person to look up to okay so maybe this person looks up to you look we got the six of cups and the three of swords maybe there was somebody that you were holding to from the past or maybe there was someone that your person was holding to from the past what's this person's current feelings towards my virgo what's this person's current feelings towards virgo temperance they want to make peace, but I feel like they think it's going to take time. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. What's this person's current feelings for my Virgo? The moon. <sighs> they have a lot of deep feelings and emotions towards you. <sighs> they take a lot of time to sit and think. I feel like this person thinks to themselves, why am I this way? Why am I this way? Why do I always get so angry? Why do I always have to be so combative why do i always have to argue i feel like this person has thought to themselves maybe if i just sit and listen and shut my mouth 
I feel like this is what this person is saying. They sit and think about it a lot. With the moon and the temperance card. Clarify the moon and temperance. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra. The chariot could be dealing with the Cancer. The moon and temperance is... This person has been planning some things in the middle of the night to come back. Eight of Cups reverse. We got another comeback around. Leo and Virgo got a comeback around. What's the Five of Wands judgment and the Queen of Swords? I feel like this person wants to say sorry for what they said, sorry for what they did. Maybe y'all were in an art, y'all got in an argument and y'all never talked again. Page of Pentacles could definitely be an apology. Page of Swords, yeah, this person has definitely been thinking about you, looking you up, <clears throat> trying to find out some things about you, asking asking the friends about you, asking their family for advice. What's this person's current feelings towards Virgo? Death. Okay, they want to see if it's really over, if there's a chance for um, a start, start up again. You got one, two, three, four, five majors a lot so this is this could be a significant person in your life we got the seven of swords reversing the two of cups somebody was lying about their feelings all right what's the current energy between virgo and this person what's the current energy between virgo and their person the current energy between Virgo and their person, please? Clean it up. So clean up the clutter. Clean up any miscommunication. Clean up any um bad habits, bad energy, clutter. Just clean your ceiling fans. Get under your bed. Clean your closet. All of that. Get rid of all of that. Okay? Loyal heart, loyal heart. So get rid of everything that's stopping you from being loyal to your heart. Get rid of everything that's stopping you from being in this connection with this person. Because I see you want to be with them. I see this person wants to be with you. I don't know what it is that's stopping y'all from being together. It could be outside forces. And things that do need to be cleaned up, fixed, rearranged, reorganized. You guys, it's foundation. Time to do some house cleaning. All right, Virgo. Libra. What's this person's current feelings towards my Libra? What's this person's current feelings towards Libra? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. They're very attracted to you. They feel like it's super easy to talk to you. Yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to talk to you and express themselves. They feel like it's easy to talk to you, but whenever they talk to you, they kind of they kind of get horny. I, I get that. <laughs> they do. They kind of get horny. <sighs> yeah, they're very attracted to you. It's like you draw them in. You're calling them in. It's like they draw you in. They're calling you in. So attracted to each other. What's this person's current feelings towards my Libra? This could be somebody at work. This could be somebody at work you're attracted to. Somebody at work that's attracted to you. What's this person's current feelings towards Libra? Ooh. We got the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups. I feel like this person doesn't know if you like them back. They think you don't. The way that you talk to them, very abrasive like. They're like, Libra can't like me. Do they like me? I hear this person saying, do they love me? Do they love me not? Oh, you hit the spot. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all are together. This, this may have been a breakup. I have finances and career right here. So maybe this person is feeling like, I just want to work on my money right now. So this person could have a nine to five job and also an entrepreneurship, something that they're trying to work on outside of their nine to five as well. 
puts this person's current feelings towards my Libra. So what that means is they feel like you don't have enough time for them. The Hierophant. This is you. They're feeling you. Could be dealing with the Leo. Taurus, Libra. <sighs> Clarify the Hierophant for this person's current feelings. You could definitely be dealing with the Leo. They want to close the distance. They want to close the gap. They feel like since you're so distant, they have to hold themselves back and they don't want to do that no more. The hair fit. They're like, oh. I feel like they might think talking to you goes against something. So y'all probably do work together and they feel like this goes against company rules, policy, um, all of that. But they like you, Ace of Cups. And I see you like them too. I don't think there's anything that could stop this, to be honest. That's like... It doesn't matter if you guys stop talking to each other. It doesn't matter if you guys are like, we shouldn't do this. We work together. I don't I don't see it mattering. Somebody's still going to take the leap of faith anyway with the full card. It, it really, I don't see this stopping anything. I get that like on you guys' breaks or lunches or some shit. Like, if you guys start going to lunch together, I think, like, you're trying to avoid... You're trying to avoid talking to this person. And now I know not everybody is dealing with somebody they like at work, so I'll pull another, another uh, storyline for y'all, Libra. But I feel like you're trying to avoid this person. You like them a lot. We work together. If only we didn't work together, I'd be all up on that. I would be all up on that if we didn't work together. <coughs> Shit. What's this person's current feelings towards Libra? Call calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations bring you together. You're calling this person in. You're very attracted to this person. There's a lot of chemistry that you two have for one another. And you want to have this heart to heart conversation. Hey, I like you. I'm feeling you. I'm digging you. Definitely. Okay, we got a couple people up in here. So we have two kings and one queen. So Libra, maybe you feel like this queen of pentacles is being sought after by multiple people. We got the king of wands, the king of cups, the ace of cups. So maybe you feel like you don't want to go towards this person because you feel like they have multiple people. Can y'all see that? It's whatever, but um, Ace of Cups, I see like the more you try to hold yourself back from this person, the more attracted you get. Ace of Cups, like your heart won't let you not talk to them, the world. This is a new cycle that I see you're trying to close out. You're trying to stop talking to this person and we'll see if you have any luck because I see y'all talking. It's something, it's something that you feel like is not right if you talk to them. So I don't know if this is like one of your ex's friends or one of your ex's family members or if this, your, if this is your co-worker. Um, I don't know if maybe it's one of your sister's friends or one of your brother's friends. I don't know. It's something that you feel like it's not right to talk to this person. But you like them so much. What's the current energy between Libra and their person? Libra and this person. What's the current energy between Libra and this person? Fork in the road. Oh, which way do I choose? Which way do I, where do I go? Where do I go? Should I go towards them or not? You met them for a reason. All right, Scorpio. Let me hurry up. Scorpio. What's this person's current feelings towards my Scorpio? What's this person's current feelings? Express your love. Your feelings are real. Ex Wait, hold on. Is this the one? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's the one. And your feelings are real too. Damn. I was led to say it. Express your love. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You or your family could be healing family issues. 
So maybe spirit is leading you to apologize to your family member first or apologize to your friend first or just express your love in some type of way to a lover, a friend, or a family member. What's this person's current feelings towards Scorpio? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like somebody did something and you got on them about it and they got sad and now they're not talking to you and you're like, how do I make them stop being mad at me? But you're like, I didn't do nothing wrong. They shouldn't have did this or they shouldn't have did that. But you want to talk to this person. So you know you're probably going to have to be the one to talk to them first and give them a gift. Six of cups. <laughs> you're trying to express your love. It could be a Gemini. You have a lot of love, a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry towards this person. You definitely want to express your love. Could be a gift. I hear you could be singing a song for this person There's, you're, or you're putting this person's favorite song on, this person's favorite movie. You're doing something nice for this person, making them feel really loved and really special. Ace of Pentacles, you're getting them something new. Maybe this person needed something new and they couldn't afford it, so you got it for them. I feel like this person wants to spoil you. Six of Cups is a gift. The lover. So I get they want to spoil you with love. They want to spoil you with time and attention. They want to spoil you with sex. They want to spoil you with money. This could be your child. This could be your child. Not wanting to spoil you with sex and stuff. This could, you, you could be... You could have gotten to an argument with your child or your sister or your brother or your friend or your lover, whoever. You got into an argument. Y'all didn't have to get into an argument, but there's a need for you to express your love to them. Maybe they're feeling like they're not loved at this moment. And so maybe you're like, how do I show them I love them? How do I show them I care? So you're trying to give them something, a gift of love, a token of affection, anything like that. Could be a trip. Could be a baby. Who, what is y'all doing? Page of Pentacles, I ain't lying. What is y'all doing? Yeah, let me go ahead. Because you you trying to make sure you give this person something solid, long-lasting. A seed? A seed. What's this person's current feelings towards Scorpio? They say, yeah, Scorpio will be a great mom. <laughs> two of Swords. You can be dealing with a Libra. Clarify the Two of Swords. A decision to make or you don't see something coming. How do I express my love? You and this person have two different love languages. Ace of Swords. So you're trying to figure it out. What's this person's love language? How do I get through them? I'm trying to express my love to them. How will they be able to receive it? Or maybe this person is trying to express their love to you and they feel like you're not receiving it. Like, why is Scorpio... I'm trying to show Scorpio how much I love them. Do they not see how much I care about them? It's like, do you not see how much I love you? What's the current energy between Scorpio and their person? What's the current energy between Scorpio and their person? Higher power, the number four. Third eye. Okay, higher power. So maybe you're getting downloads. I feel like you two have some type of telepathic connection. Let me see, in between. Okay, there it is. You could be praying, like, how do I move forward? How do I get out of this feeling of do they love me do they love me not do they see how much i do care about them and it's like you just and it, i feel like you have good intentions with the higher power it's like i have nothing but love for them i have good intentions i only want the best for them but for some reason i'm being met with resistance 
All right, who's next? That's it, Scorpio. Sagittarius. What's this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? Soulmate, soulmate, you are the person, the person, you're the first person who got soulmate, Sagittarius. I can't talk right now. And then we have give your relationship a chance. So you guys are giving each other a chance. You're working on your partnership. Yes, this is your soulmate. They feel like you are their soulmate or this is how you feel. You feel like they're your soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. This person may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person has romantic feelings towards you and they may want to get married. The situation may involve marriage. This, you or this person could have been married when you met. You could have had fallen in love with someone who's in a connection with someone else. Anything. Anything. What's this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? I do see the three of swords. What's this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? What's this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? The star could be an Aquarius you're um, connecting with. They like you a lot. You're beautiful. You're peaceful. You're elegant. You're lovely. You're gifted. Talented. It's like you're very healing as well. The work you do. We got the Queen of Pentacles. They like how stable you are. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Earth sign. So... We got the Queen of Pentacles, Death, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there was a divorce. Maybe somebody wants to heal the marriage, renew their vows. Maybe somebody had to choose between another person. And after someone did get divorced, it took some time with the hangman card. You probably haven't seen this person in a while. There was a breakup and an ending. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. It was. It was a breakup and an ending. But now I feel like this person might want to try again. It's going to be too hard to be with this person. We got the two of pentacles, the hangman, the two of swords, five of pentacles, ten of swords. Three of pentacles with the five of swords, ten of wands, the moon, eight of cups, the tower, four of swords. All of this, all, mm -mm. I, I don't know. I feel like if this was what happened in the past, there was a lot. There was a lot. There was a lot. So I feel like if this is a new person, they may have went through the exact same thing you went through. And for some reason, you and this person you're connecting with would always attract people who are already in relationships. death ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles the magician all right there's something you manifested using your personal power prayers or affirmations but with the death card it's fucking me up because we have the five of pentacles and the tower there was an ending somebody could have lost their job lost their status got demoted lost their home, lost some type of money. Yeah, in the hermit card and went ghost for a long time. And then with the nine of wands, I feel like it took a lot for this person to bounce back. Page of Cups. What is this? So I'm hearing that Somebody had to go to rehab. I'm hearing somebody either had to go to the army or go to rehab. 
had to go to some type of trade school. The job that they have made them have to pick up their whole life and move across the world or across country or some shit like that. Let me do another storyline because these are beautiful cards. Keep an open mind. Uh, there's some, there's a soulmate that you have romantic feelings for. And this could be the person you marry. I don't know if you are already married. I don't know if they're already married. Who is this anyway? Sagittarius. Oh, I always get some crazy ass readings for y'all, Sag. Damn. The chariot could be a cancer. All right, clarify the chariot. We got the seven of cups options. Let me find a storyline. Give me a second. The magician. Okay. Could be a Gemini. Page of wands. The Hermit. And the Pentacles. So this person could be married to their job. They travel for work. You don't see this person often. I'm just going to have to go with my first storyline. I feel like there's somebody already in a connection or already married. I can't get past it. I can't shake it. Bless me. Four of Pentacles. They're not giving you all. They're not giving you all of themselves because they're either too tied up with work or they're tied up with another person. We got the page of wands. Give you a little bit and then that's it. That's all you get is a little bit. Nine of Pentacles. So... Is this person single? Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups. Who is this person and what's their current feelings? Death. It's a Scorpio. Somebody you had an ending with. So I see, I see this person like, I should have just said what I heard. So I don't know who this person is. There's somebody that you always meet. You always meet them. It's like there are years or months that go by, weeks or months or years that go by. And for some reason, you always meet them. And I feel like you either always meet them on a dating app or something like that. I feel like this person has always been like recycled in your life. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But you always, I don't know who this person is, but you always, there's always a season where you meet them again and you go through a cycle with them, stop talking to them. You meet them again and they're, they're not your ex. They're not like the ex-boyfriend. They're just somebody who it's like you think that it's going to get up and running. There's a lot of potential for y'all to be together. Y'all have good chemistry. Y'all probably have good sex too. And they're not like a super bad person, but they don't give you what you need emotionally. Y'all know how, how do I explain this? I get, I just get like there's somebody who you like, who you rock with, could fuck with real heavy, but y'all don't ever get past the talking phase and y'all, y'all disconnect, y'all stop talking for a little while and then they come back. This is, this isn't anybody who you would consider your uh, ex-boyfriend. This isn't anybody. I don't even think you guys have met each other's family either. All right. That was too complicated, Sad. Capricorn. What's this person's current feelings towards Capricorn? No, my bad, my bad. My bad, Sagittarius. My bad, my bad. Let's go back to Sagittarius. What's the current energy between Sagittarius and their person? Okay. By the book. Y'all always try to start over again and do things right. For some reason... For some reason, you always try to make it work with this person, but then something new comes along, but then y'all start over again. It's like, where y'all going? Okay? The current energy between you and this person, both of y'all trying to figure out where the hell y'all going. I'm sorry, Sag. It didn't make sense to me either. All right, Capricorn. 
<laughs> it didn't make sense to me either. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. What's this person's current feelings towards my Capricorn? Healing family issues. So this person's current feelings is they feel like they need to heal with you, heal the family. If this could be your baby mom or baby dad, um, if y'all live together, maybe they feel like you you got things that you want to heal within your own family. This person feels like the relationship they had with you helped them see that I need to heal, especially the things that happened from my past childhood. Okay, because you guys get to know each other. I feel like this is a very mature relationship. Y'all may trigger each other sometimes, and that's okay. You, When you guys trigger each other, it makes you think. It makes this person think, I went through this in the past. This is how I felt as a child. This is why I'm this way. And it helps them mature, and it helps the relationship. And it helps you get to know them, helps them get to know you, and you both get to know each other more. Could be dealing with the Leo. I see a lot of growth, and it takes a lot of strength to be able to grow through being triggered and elevating and things like that. A lot of growth, a lot of forward movement. I feel like this person, this person is grateful that they met you during this time. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, and as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. What's this person's current feelings towards Capricorn? The Tower. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. A lot of change. I feel like you guys have been um, irritating each other. Okay, but your love is growing and growing and growing. A lot of, a lot of growth. And it's like overnight. Clarify the tower. I feel like, bam, these these feelings hit this person like out the blue. Clarify the tower for this person's current feelings towards Capricorn. Four swords. Ooh, what happened to make this person have to go in and rest like this? But I feel like, like I said, the trigger, every time it's, someone's triggered, it's like, this is what happened. I realized a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of like inner, like going with them. Okay, this is what happened. This is why I did this. This is why I responded this way. Okay, I won't do that again because I know if I do that, they respond this way. And here, holding themselves accountable. Okay, taking responsibility. This is a nice, this is nice to be in. I know it, I know it's irritating because of all the all the massive change and massive growth that you guys are going through. But I feel like you guys are just taking all the swords out one by one. Just one by one. Taking them out. And it's like, please. like It's almost like y'all got comfortable with the pain. And it's like, no, we can't stay in the pain. We have to grow through it. I know it's uncomfortable, but let's sit down and talk about this. Okay? They're like, let's sit down and talk about this. page of cups the world so a lot of i get a lot of um course correcting okay you can be dealing with the cancer scorpio libra a lot of water you can be dealing with an aquarius taurus leo scorpio pisces libra what's this person's current feelings towards my capricorn or wands they're not going nowhere they don't want you to go nowhere either they want to fix the family they said if if in order for me to have a solid foundation i need to be able to work this out with my partner i need to be able to work this out with my family my issues my demons my uh childhood trauma and they want you both to do it together what's the current energy between capricorn and their person What's the current energy between Capricorn and their person? Ooh. Deep knowing. They have a deep knowing. All right. 
And then we have getting to know each other. Look, they want to know you even more. Get to know each other even more. Know spirit. Know their guides. Know their ancestors. Deep knowing. They want to be more knowledgeable, more wise. Oh, I'm so glad today's Friday. Okay, who's next? Aquarius. What's this person's current feelings towards my Aquarius? What's this person's current feelings towards Aquarius? What's this person's current feelings? This could be the one, okay? It says, you're, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Clarify this could be the one for this person's current feelings towards Aquarius. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. Okay, so I get that this person feels like... Give me one more on that because what I'm thinking might not be what it is what's this person's current feelings Ooh, yeah passion and new love passion and new love this could be the one finances and career so this person this person either feels like you have more money than them you feel like they have more money than you um, if this is somebody at your job that you're crushing on, they could be like the team lead or somebody higher than you, or you could be somebody higher than them. But you have a, this don't have to be nobody at your job, but I see that for some reason, money is a factor in whatever is going on. So maybe you met this person through some type of financial transaction. Maybe you will be meeting them. Maybe this could be somebody at the bank that you meet something to do with money or monetary items it could be you in exchange of money whatever we're gonna leave it alone but you have a lot of passion towards this person and this is a new love and they feel like you're the one this could be the one all right what's this person's current feelings towards aquarius maybe you two have money together stocks Stairs. I don't know. Maybe you two could bump into each other at the gas station. You're both playing the lottery. I don't know. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I hear a breath of fresh air. This person tells the truth. It's easy to talk to this person. I feel like this person is a book of knowledge, like a, a resource bank. So you, this could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius are very knowledgeable. This person has a good memory. Eight of Cups. So there could be distance between you and this person. Maybe this person broke up from someone and is moving towards you. Maybe you broke up from someone, you're moving towards them. Maybe this is an ex and they're coming back to you. But we have new love. So maybe you feel like you've already met the romantic partner you seek in your ex, but you don't even see this new love coming in. Okay, with the four of wands. Yeah, four of wands, ace of cups. This is new love. I don't need, Are you still thinking about somebody from the past? I don't, you might not. Six of cups reverse. You might still be, though. I feel like if you are still thinking about somebody from the past, it's because they either owe you money or you have money tied up together. A house together, a home, a house home. A house together, a car together. Maybe you guys are on the same phone bill or something like that. Maybe you can have children. But I see new love coming in. I'm getting like, you may have told yourself, I've already met the romantic partner. I seek to have so many things with this person. I have a house with them. I have a kids with them. We share a dog. We share, you know, this or that. Like, I, I might as well just stay here. But I see new love coming in. And it's going to ignite your passion. It could be a Leo. And I see if you're worried about finances or career, there's more money coming in. Yeah, 
You have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This person has their own, okay? This person is a boss that have their own. And I feel like this new person, they're not going to ask you to share with them so much. I don't know why that's so important. This person isn't going to need need your money. They're not going to need to share with you. They're not going to need all of that. Yeah, they have their own. Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. And then they got money to spare too. Like they don't need, they don't need anything from you. They just want you though. This new person could probably actually help you. What's the energy between Aquarius and this new person? What's the current energy between Aquarius and their person? What's the current energy between Aquarius and their person? To the sea. I feel like you both are coming back to self. So this new person is like, still got a groove back. I'm doing me. I love myself. I'm never going back to the past. I'm going back to me, back home. You feel the same way. I'm going back to me, back home, back to self. Okay, back to the sea, back to, you know, where I came from. So you two could have something in common with each other. That's how you know each other. Maybe you're from the same city. Maybe you're from the same state. Um, some of you could have even been born in the same place. I don't know. You have something in common with each other. All right, Pisces. Last but not least, my beautiful, wonderful, awesome Pisces. What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? I see codependency and soulmate. So you could be in a karmic relationship. You can be in a twin flame relationship as well. What's the current feelings? What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? I should have got some ice cream. Playfulness. Everybody's getting this. So everybody has the playful ass motherfucker all in their face. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This person could be younger than you. Or they could have kids. What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? Let go of control issues. Have fun. Maybe this person feels like they want you to loosen up. Have some fun. Yeah, this person could definitely be younger than you. Okay, with children. You could have children. They could have children. They could be a little childish with this play playfulness energy right here. You could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo. Gemini, Cancer, Libra, could be anybody. Right. What's this person's current feelings towards my Pisces? a source reverse okay i feel like something has made been made clear to them we have judgment in the seven of cups reverse all reverse something has been made crystal clear clarify this person's current feelings towards pisces maybe something has been made clear to you six of swords reverse why are all these cards coming out reverse mm, my deck is reversed oh well Still reading them as is. So, clarify the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords reverse. 
Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So something has been made clear to this person. And I feel like now they figured out where all the money was going. And somebody has probably has not been spending the money on the right things. Somebody has been trying to control the money. What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? They feel like you're irresponsible with money. They're irresponsible with money. Ten of Pentacles. Something about money. Stability. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. We have the... Excuse me. Ten of Swords coming out right here. So there has been an ending. Somebody wasted a lot of money. Spent a lot of money. On what? Clarify this person's current feelings towards Pisces. This person might be attracted to you because of your money. We got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Did you win the lottery? And lose it? Or somebody is jealous? What is this? Playfulness? Let go of control issues. Playfulness. You could play the lottery. Let go of control issues. We got the four of wands coming out. It came out reverse. What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? It's not making sense. Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Six of Pentacles strength. It's about money, finances, assets. Could be dealing with a Leo. You're holding back. So this person's current feelings is maybe they... Somehow, they don't know how, and they finally realize how. I don't know what it is, but they're like, where's all my money went? And it's went to you, Pisces. They feel like you spend too much money. They feel like they spend too much money on you. And they're like, no, I'm cutting that shit off. I don't know if this is your sugar daddy, sugar sugar baby. I don't, I don't know, but this person, that you spend a lot of money on this person. And you're not doing that shit no more. We have child. We have we have children. We like, no, we're not doing this. This could be your child. You're not giving them an allowance anymore. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You feel like somebody's been like impulsive with the money. Alright. Give me another storyline for Pisces. That's not for all y'all. <sighs> When you finally figure out what this person has been spending the money on, you're going to be furious. Look what just jumped out. The Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Three of Swords. What's this person? I feel, oh my gosh. I feel like this person made a stupid decision when it came to money. I'm getting sick to my stomach. What's this person's current feelings towards Pisces? Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Reverse, The Hermit. You're going to ghost this person to stop talking to them. I also get a scammer. Yeah, playfulness. I get a scammer. Somebody's trying to scam you. And you will not hear from them again. They're going to try to offer you something, be talking all nice, talking all good shit, and they're going to be gone. The hermit. Be careful, Pisces. Just be careful. What's the what's the current energy between Pisces and this person? I don't like this, Pisces. So if somebody's telling you, yeah, I can flip money, don't believe them. If somebody's telling you, yeah, um... What's your bank info? Don't give them your bank info. If somebody's trying to sell you something off the street, don't take it. I hear if somebody's telling you they're, they'll give you cash for food stamps. No. No. Give me a message for Pisces. Higher knowing. Trust your intuition. If your gut is telling you, no, nah, this ain't real, this gotta be fake, or I don't feel right, this is a scam. Are they if and if you have to if you think that they're tricking you or playing you, they are. Higher knowing, use your intuition. Y'all be safe. Okay, y'all. 
Give me a message for the collective, please. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message for my collective. All right, collective, what we got? Mm. Ooh, nine of cups. Y'all see how that jumped out? Nine of pentacles. Collective, y'all gonna be all right. I'm getting that. Is that Kendrick Lamar? We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Y'all gonna be good. Wish fulfillment. Because this is a self-love, self-fulfillment type energy. These, these cards, your wishes are being granted. Your money is being replenished baby y'all good i don't see y'all pining after a motherfucker i don't see y'all pining after no dude pining after no woman this is a good energy to be in all right Ooh, i see some good sex coming but collective <sighs> I do see some good sex coming, but it's it's from somebody who's going to be gone as soon as they come. And probably literally as soon as they come, they'll be gone. So if this is something y'all want, you know, whoops. If this is something y'all want, then fine. Ugh. But it was the hermit card that dropped, so you know they're going to be gone. You They will drop off the face of the earth, Okay. You will not see them again. And the, the, I don't know who it is, but this person is probably just coming to give you some wee-wee or give you some uh, punani and be gone with your energy. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>